I'm Lynn Felder. I'm the arts reporter at the Winston-Salem Journal. And this week, I'm working a story about the Spoleto Festival USA in Charleston, South Carolina. They are doing production of Porgy and Bess at the Gale Yard Auditorium, which is just newly renovated. Uh, the production of Porgy and Bess that they're doing is art directed or art designed by an artist from that part of the country who's been all over the world and who is famous all over the world. His name is Jonathan Green. He does beautiful sort of narrative, um, very colorful, figurative paintings. And so he is taking his knowledge of the South Carolina Low Country, which is where Porgy and Bess was originated and where it's based. And he's taking the visuals and his knowledge of the Gullah culture and Charleston into the art design for this production. Um, they are also very cognizant of the events that happened a year ago, the domestic terrorism that occurred in a church across the street from the Gale Yard. So it's a, a really, it's a very poignant, it's a very interesting time in Charleston. Spoleto Festival is, you know, it's four hours away. It's a good little drive. But in the city of arts and innovation, it seems that we can't get too insular, that we need to go and see what's going on in other cities. So we can sort of cleanse the doors of perception and come back refreshed and renewed and be even more creative and innovative and artistic. But you can find out more about that in Sunday's Winston-Salem Journal.